in case you can't tell, it's officially 2023. And I am out of town right now. And I wanted to make sure though, that I still showed up, that I made sure to be here to give you some ideas of what the universe is thinking about this week for you in this new year. And so we're going to do what we can do and see what the cards have to say. It's going to be weird reading with these glasses on. So just bear with me this week. All right. So let's get started. I have my triple deck here as well. So let's get started with how to show up for yourself this week. And first we have the hermits, which is how we end it last. Week. Next, how to connect to spirits. We've got the hanged man. Okay. Next, what actions will move you forward this week? The lover's card. Right. How to better communicate. We have the empress. Wow. Okay. Next, how to build more happiness. We've got the Knight of Cups. And finally, what will strengthen love this week? We have the World Card. Wow. This is definitely the most, the most major arcana cards that I have pulled for one of our spreads together all in one which means big 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 huge energy which isn't surprising right it's a new year it's many of us are spending a lot of our energy thinking about what's coming up what we should be doing and so it makes sense that we see some lots of big energy here so it's it looks like we're going to start out the week kind of slow kind of introverted and you know work our way back to showing up in the world in a lot of different ways so yeah. it looks good it looks big though right so don't be scared lots of changes happen or you feel really motivated to make some big changes this week so let's just start at the beginning with how to show up for yourself and here we have the hermit move it a little bit closer since these cards are little so the hermit card is all about going with Again, I mentioned that we ended last week with the hermit energy and going within, checking in to understand what that light is inside of us that needs to start to lead us forward. And so we're continuing that energy this week of, of really now listening to and following this light within that is guiding us forward. So make sure you take time throughout the week so you really listen to your intuition, really listen to that little voice that is pulling you when it's really quiet and you can hear yourself thinking. Great. Next, let's move to how to connect to spirit. And here we have the hanged man. And like the hermit, this is about going within, but this is about going with and looking at different perspectives, looking at the world from a different perspective, maybe even upside down and getting inspiration from that unusual position that you put yourself in. So when you are going with it and when you are reflecting on your life and where to move, take the opportunity to look at things in a new light, in a, in a new way, upside down and see what inspiration comes through for you this week, right? And that is the message that you're going to be getting from spirit. That feels good. All right. And then we're going to move into coming back out a little bit. So we're going to move into what actions will move you forward. And here we have the lover's card. And this is about understanding who you are in relationship to other people okay so think about how you're showing up in the world how that may be perceived by other people but more importantly really look at who you are who you see yourself as as you are showing up as you are moving forward what does that feel like does it feel 
heavy or concerning? What are the relationships that you're showing up for as you're starting to move forward? This is, uh, you know, very connected to any kind of relationship. It doesn't have to be intimate, but think about how you as an individual are showing up in relationships with other people. Okay, next we're gonna move to how to better communicate. And here we have the Empress. Now, the Empress is all about feminine energy. So this is about communication. This is about listening to people. This is about, you know, receptive feminine energy. And so think about your communication and how can I be more receptive? How can I, instead of just talking and telling people what I'm doing, what's new for the year, how can I make sure that I'm listening as other people are sharing? How can I make sure that I open to receiving information and receiving new ideas, receiving love and affection and support how am I making sure that I'm keeping myself open to being receptive as a good communicator this week? Okay. Next, we have how to build more happiness. And here we have the Knight of Cups. We also saw this last week. And this is about moving forward emotionally, taking some actions towards building happiness for ourselves. Right. We're not sitting back and just waiting and hoping to feel better about whatever's happening in our life. We're taking the steps We're we're taking actions towards finding our own happiness, bringing our own happiness to the table, bringing it to other people. Right. So this week, we don't want to wait around for people to let us know how they feel or what they want or, you know, hoping that someone will ask us. Oh, what's going on with you? This is coming out, coming forward, being more, I'm going to say aggressive, assertive, being more assertive about sharing our emotions this week. All right. And last but certainly not least, we have what will strengthen love this week. And we have the world card here. So this is the end of the cycle, right? This is once we have learned the lesson. We've gone through trials and tribulations. The world card is finding comfort in who we are as an individual, having learned all of these lessons. This is mature energy. And so as you're thinking about your relationships, think about the level of maturity that you have grown in yourself. Use that in your relationships with others, right? So the, the more juvenile things that maybe you used to do in relationships, let those things go. You, you're smarter, you're, you're wiser, you have the experience now, so use it. Use it to move yourself forward, move your relationships forward in more comfort, more ease, right? And that's gonna make everything this week feel so much easier here, right? Again, I'll just end with saying that so much change and big energy this week. Don't let it frighten you. I don't, it doesn't feel like it's going to hit you all of a sudden, but I think once this week is over, you're going to be able to look back and say, wow, I really feel a shift in who I am and the ways that I'm looking at things after this crazy week, right? So it, it's it's a lot, but it feels easy and comfortable, and it, it does. It feels like a mature energy that's happening this week, so I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I hope you're having a wonderful new year. Again, let me know. Let me know what your plans are, what's coming up, and stay magical, y'all. Yeah.